Hey guys, it's Angel the Beautician, and I'm a beautician on a mission. What mission, you might ask? The mission is simple, to spread the word of love, joy, and beauty all around the globe through YouTube. So, thank you for tuning in. This is the first video of my series. Um, I'm going to have a few different series. Uh, this one is going to be called, What Really Grinds My Shears. Um, and this is basically a, what gets on my nerves as <laughs> a beauty guru, beauty stylist, nail tech, hair technician, hair beautician, whatever you want to call us, magicians, I get that too, um, makeup artists, I do it all, whatever my license entails. So I'm going to keep you guys updated on the news in the beauty industry, what's going on, if there's any conventions that you guys should be going to if you are a licensed cosmetologist or if you're in beauty school um, I'm gonna be keeping you guys updated about it so just make sure you guys tune in please make sure you like share comment and subscribe and let your friends and family know about my page so here we go today it's called what grinds my shears episode one and it's about social media influencers and the beauty industry what really grinds my shears about social media and the beauty industry is how <sighs> fake it's gotten like just to be honest the beauty industry really is about helping people look and feel their best no matter what and we're here to guide you help you get your hair the way you want it, get your makeup, bomb for a prom, wedding, every day, just anything. That's what we're here for. What I don't like is when I have, when I see people on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, all kinds of social media, and they're just posers. You know, they aren't here to help you. They're here to make a quick buck. And the reason why I say this and how I know this is, there's some people out there, and I'm going to put this on blast, and you guys might just hate me. You might see some people that are doing these things, and you're going to be like, oh, Angel said it, look out for that. If they are a real licensed individual, you should be able to ask them what school they went to, what, license, what state they're licensed in. I mean, I know some people don't like to be stalked and whatnot. I understand all of that. But, simple questions here and there, they should let you guys know in the beginning of their video if they're licensed or not. If they don't, just be mindful that they may not know exactly what they're doing. Some people state it in their videos and some don't. So you just have to be mindful of that. And when it comes to, like, makeup artists, I see they'll be, you know, sharing the same brushes between other people. I've seen unlicensed nail techs using the same unsanitary equipment on pedicures and things like that. And things of that nature on somebody else spreading God knows what onto other people. And that's just disgusting. When you, you don't know what you don't know. And a lot of people don't know Luke proper rules of sanitation and keeping things clean and that's one major thing that really hits home with me because you could really hurt someone spread very very bad things skin to skin to people if you don't know what you're doing so when you see other people not using sanitary things or you know just little things here and there just be mindful of that. When you find somebody that is a licensed person, they'll tell you where to find them, what salon they're at, everything like that, how to find them, um, how to get in contact with them, not just through some like email or little text thing. Like They'll be professional about it. If people really cared about helping each other and helping you feel as beautiful as you can on your wedding day or your prom or your birthday they're going to be licensed if you go to one of the 50 billion braid shops on the corners 
and you want your braids done, just know that just because they have a salon does not mean that the people in that salon are licensed. In a certain state, I don't know how many states, but in my state of Indiana, you don't need a license to do braids. So if you're just doing braids, you don't need a license. And so what that does is it opens the door for, you know, just side things that people do. And it's unsanitary and it's dangerous. When you get braids done and your scalp is bleeding or you have bumps, that person does not know how to do braids correctly to where it won't hurt you. They probably bit use a different comb on you because they don't know the rules of sanitation. They don't know what what to use to clean off their combs or do anything. They probably just use soap and water and you can't just use soap and water. It's not going to work that way to kill any type of fungus because not a lot of people know that dandruff is a fungus, but it is. So you have to kill things like that. You have to sanitize. You have to just really make sure that you're clean. Um, there are people who do threading. If you go to a threader, those people are not licensed because if they were, we went to school for all things beauty. We, they did not teach us threading. The reason why is because threading, you it involves string going through your mouth. Anything with your mouth, that's unsanitary. That's one. So if you're going to a threader, just know that that person is not licensed so they can do whatever to you and not be at fault for it because you're the one that chose to go to them and they're not licensed. Threading is not in any of the state board cosmetology that I know of in the state of Indiana. So, and I have a mother who works with the state board of Indiana. So I know these things. I know what goes on the test. I know what's not going on the test and it's definitely not threading. So if you go to a threader, just know they're not licensed and you're going to run the risk of catching whatever sickness or whatever they got coming from their mouth onto your face. That pretty face you got ain't going to be pretty no more <laughs> if they got something that uh, you don't want on, their, on your face. So I'm just letting you guys know this is the real tea about what real stylists think about these Instagram stars and these YouTube people who don't know what they're doing when it comes to doing hair and makeup. Like, I understand that you, if you're going to school for this and you're a student and you're just showing your progress going along, that's totally different. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to these people who don't have any intention of going to school, don't care. They just want to make a quick buck and they just don't care about you. So, I mean, it's cool if you do hair tutorials, but if you're doing hair for other people, that's a whole different thing. If you're doing services on other people, this is what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about the YouTubers that do your tutorials. I love those YouTubers because they teach me something new sometimes. So I've seen some styles I didn't even know. So um, because beauty school teaches you the basics and you have to do outside education after school to continue your education and know more. When you find other YouTubers or other people that are doing their tutorials, that's totally fine. Just don't take what they're saying too, too, like, close to your heart because they're just doing what's good for their hair. They don't know what's good for your hair because you're not sitting in their chair and they've never gone to school to learn how to do different types of hair. And I've had to learn how to do my type of hair outside of school because my school didn't know too much about anything to do with this except for relax it. My point is, if you're interested in going to beauty school, you can definitely look it up. If you can, if you want to go to barber school or esthetician school just to do makeup, you can do esthetician school. I think it only takes about three to six months. So it doesn't take long at all. It took me nine months to go to beauty school and get it done. All I'm saying is, if you're serious about the beauty industry and you want to be a part of this industry, we welcome you with open arms, sis. Like, I'm, I'm ready to help you. So, I'm here to help you guys uh, make it through and just be ready for the real world. Because you can't have a salon. You can't make it past, you know, this technology age afterwards if you don't have the foundation and the foundation is a license let me know what you guys think if you believe angel you're just tripping like you just 
you're just hating on on everybody and and their hustle. Like you need to get over yourself. Or if you think, you know what, she's she's got a point there. You know, I do see some people that do some un unsanitary things. Maybe we should talk about this more. If you believe so, either way, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. And I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. And this is Angel the Beautician on a beauty mission. I'm out.